Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving this interesting problem. We are given a plus b is equal to 1, a squared plus b squared is equal to 2, and we have to find the value of a to the power 11 plus b to the power 11. Before we start, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. We are going to be using two important identities to solve this problem. The first one is a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab then a plus b or cube this is the same as a cube plus b cube plus 3 times ab times a plus b so pay attention to these two identities we're going to be applying them to solve the problem so let's go ahead and then square each side of equation 1. So we're going to have a plus b, which is the same as this one squared. So you have the whole of this one to be equal to 1. So we have a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to 1 squared, which is still 1. Then from equation 2, we see that a squared plus b squared is equal to 2. So it means that the whole of this one is equal to 2. Therefore, we would have 2 plus 2ab is equal to 1 and this implies that 2ab is equal to negative 1 if we move this one to this side right now let's go ahead and then divide each side of this equation by 2 so that we get ab is equal to negative 1 half now let's call this equation equation star then let's go ahead and then cube equation 1 as well so equation 1 is the same as a plus b on the left hand side so it means that a plus b cubed is going to be this one, right? So we're going to have a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b. And this is equal to 1 cube, which is still 1, right? We know this ab from equation start to be negative 1 half then a plus b from equation 1 to be 1. So we're going to have a to the third power plus b to the third power plus 3 times negative 1 half times 1 is equal to 1. Now let's go ahead and then simplify this. 3 times negative 1, we're going to have minus 3, then divided by 2, and this is equal to 1. Therefore, we have a cube plus b cube is equal to 1 plus 3 on 2. And this implies that a cube plus b cube is equal to 5 on 2. And we will call this equation equation hash. Now let's go ahead and then multiply equation 2 by equation hash. Equation 2 is equation hash. Equation 2 is given as a squared plus b squared is equal to 2, right? So we're going to have a squared plus b squared on the left-hand side. Then on the left-hand side of equation hash, we're going to have a cube plus b cube. And this is equal to 2 times 5 divided by 2. Let's use the FOIA method to distribute this one. So we're going to take this one and multiply by this. Then we also multiply it by this one. So we're going to have a to the power 5 plus a squared b cubed. Then we will also distribute this one using the FOIA method. So we're going to have plus a cubed b squared then plus b to the fifth power and this is equal to this and this one will go so we have five here and we can simplify this as a to the fifth power plus b to the fifth power plus a squared b squared times a plus b and this is equal to five now let's make the whole of this one the subject so we're gonna have a to the fifth power plus b to the fifth power is equal to 5 minus. We can write the whole of this one as ab all squared then times 
a plus b. Now we know a, b, and then we also know a plus b. So we're going to have 5 minus a, b is giving us negative 1 half squared, then a, b is 1 from equation 1, right? Now let's simplify this. We have a to the fifth power plus b to the fifth power is equal to 5 minus. This is going to give us 1 on 4. So we're going to have a to the fifth power plus b to the fifth power is equal to 19 divided by 4. Now let's go ahead and then square equation hash. So you have a cube plus b cube all squared is equal to 5 divided by 2 squared. So we're going to have a to the 6th power plus b to the 6th power plus 2 times a cube b cube, which could also be written as a b all cube. And this is equal to 25 divided by 4. So we have a to the 6th power plus b to the 6th power plus, we know a b to be negative 1 half, so you have 2 times negative 1 half cube, and this is equal to 25 over 4. Now let's go ahead and then simplify this. a to the 6th power plus b to the 6th power, negative 1 cube is negative 1, then 2 cube is 8, so we're going to have negative 1 over 8, then times 2, so you have negative 1 over 4 and this is equal to 25 over 4 5 over 4 and we can simplify this as a to the 6th power plus b to the 6th power is equal to 25 over 4 plus 1 over 4 now we see that a to the 6th power plus b to the 6th power is equal to 26 over 4, which is the same as 13 over 2. Now let's call this equation, equation 4. Now, let's multiply equation 3 by equation 4. So this is equation 3. This is equation 3. Let's multiply it by this equation over here. So we would have a to the fifth power plus b to the fifth power times a to the sixth power plus b to the sixth power is equal to 19 divided by 4 times 13 divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. We will distribute this a to the fifth power. So we're going to have a to the power 11 plus a to the fifth power b to the sixth power plus a. We will distribute this one here. So we're going to have a to the sixth power b to the fifth power then plus b to the power 11 and this is equal to Let's multiply this by this and then this one by that. So we're going to have 2, 4, 7 divided by 8. And we can simplify this as a to the power 11 plus b to the power 11 plus a to the fifth power b to the fifth power times a plus b. And this is equal to 2, 4, 7 divided by 8. But we know this one and we also know this one as well. So we have a to the power 11 plus b to the power 11 plus. Now we can write this as a, b or to the power 5, right? And we know that a, b is 1 half. That is negative. So we're going to have negative 1 half or to the fifth power times a, b is 1 from equation 1. And this is equal to 2, 4, 
7 divided by 8. We will have a to the power 11 plus b to the power 11. Negative 1 to the fifth power, that is negative 1. Then 2 to the fifth power, we're going to have 32. And this is equal to 2, 4, 7 divided by 8. Now let's transpose this negative 1 over 32. So you have a to the power 11 plus b to the power 11 is equal to 2, 4, 7 divided by 8 plus 1 over 32. And we simplify this as a to the power 11 plus b to the power 11 is equal to the LCM is 32. 8 goes into 32 4 times 4 times. This one we're going to have 9, 8, 8. Then plus 32 goes into itself 1. So we're going to have 1 times 1, which is still 1. And we found out that a to the power 11 plus b to the power 11 is equal to 9, 8, 9 divided by 32 as the final answer. I hope you found this video useful. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video. Share, comment, and like. Bye-bye.